in this video, we will see how to plan a report and design tips. Gonna focus with data source, data sets, and report creation. Planning a report and design tips, data source, data set, and report. What to learn? What is data source? The importance of having data source. What is a data set? How you retrieve data set and how you use it. Demonstration about creating a report using SQL Server reporting services. So we go now to SQL Server. For us to see, I created table for this one for demo purposes. So it's under SSIS database. And then under tables, I created this design table. So this table, TBL info, contains one, two, three, four, five, five um, columns with data type with a data type of ID for in full name two five five birth date date time age in date created date time. So that's the table design. So now I'm gonna go to I'm gonna use stored procedure as my data set or how I retrieve the data using SQL Server. So, for us to go to the um, stored procedure, you just create it by new query. So, I'll go directly with the stored procedure. It's located on the database and then go to programmability. And then, under programmability, go to the folder stored procedure and then here. So, here is the stored procedure that I created for this demo. So, I'll click modify. So, for you to create a stored procedure, you just simply change this one to this one. So in this demo, it's already existed. On this demo, it exists on the system. So we just change this one to alter. So how does this query use? We just select all the columns and then filter it by full name. So I'll make it dynamic. I'll, I use at full name for, for full name. So it will filter the full name value. So let's say I'm gonna make it this. I'm gonna make this static. Set it up 200. There. So vertical. So here's the script. So for this one, let's say I'll just comment this out first. Let's say that the string value of this one is my name all the columns it will return all the columns this full names there so that's how you do it so next is what if I'll change it to another one I'll just delete this one and take this one copy and paste so the value of this one would be this so I changed the full name filtering to ace de la Cruz there so that's it so i want it dynamic so i don't want every time i want to retrieve a record i'll change this one i want it dynamic so i i put a parameter here okay i'm gonna return this one there so this full name parameter is declared as data type so it will accept all the full name under this one okay so we're gonna use this get info store procedure so we go now to ssdt so for us to open ssdt is go to file click new project okay so now we're gonna open the ssrs under ssdt so we, ju we just choose the report service and then let's say demo one so click report server project here okay so we click yes so here is the Solution Explorer. So it is designed on a step-by-step -step process. So first, we're gonna define the source of the database, okay, specifically the table. And then once you sort out where is the um, source of the data, we're gonna define how we pull those data out. So that's data set. Next, we're gonna present it on a organized manner. So we will create a report. So let's start with the data source. 
I'll just right click the data source here click add click new item data source let's say my data source click add click edit for us to modify the connection string there so click this drop down so that we could define the server name we just wait for it there click database name ssis test it and it's running correctly click ok so once we're done with the connection string we just click ok here next we're gonna tackle the uh, data set you just right click the same as in the data source and then click new item in clicking the new item you need to define this one so let's say df my data set click add then i'll define the query type i will not put a static query here i'll put a store procedure here okay so there's error here so what we're gonna do is we could just cancel this one and then right click this and then go to credentials then go to the uh, windows authentication integrated security click ok so going back here again click add click new and then data set okay so going back here there store procedure select or enter store procedure name was stored procedure name the get info okay so click ok so we have the data source and data set so we we'll, we're left with the report so what we're gonna do to create a report using ssrs now we're gonna create a report so we're done with the data source the data set we're gonna create now the report we just right click this one add item new item so report double click then we're gonna go to toolbox and then look for the table for us to create our sample table you drag it here at the middle then choose data set the one that we configured a while ago click ok so this would be the design of the table so technically it is powered by store procedure so this we're going to choose what are the columns so technically we call all the columns we're going to define each column let's say this is the full name this would be the birthday this would be the h okay so let's say i'll change the color of this one okay let's say background color of let's say yellow there so we're gonna preview it by pressing this tab button okay we just wait for it and then wait for it to render prop uh, completely let's say i'll type my name there view report there you are so this is how you do the report let's say you would like to save this one or export this one automatically through word ms word i'm gonna put it in desktop click ok so in ms word I'm gonna look onto my desktop click double click if it's working now there okay so it's already in an ms word form let's say what else Let's say you're gonna save this one in PDF. Can save it on my desktop again for demo purposes. So PDF here. Double click this one. There, it's a PDF file. So what else? Let's say I'll change this one to Excel. There. Gonna save this one. There you are. Excel. So here. So this is how you do the import. Okay, so simple steps. Okay, so this ends our um, presentation of how we do a report.